you just miss the harvest for a couple of days and the zucchini gets out of control. Early this morning, sad moment, gonna let JD go. His mom picked him up, they're on their way to Florida. Bye bye. It's always sad to see JD go. Good kid, good kid. Back from taking JD, gonna cook a nice farm fresh breakfast. This time I'm gonna mix it up a little bit, not our usual. I've whipped up some omelets. That's some cream and some eggs in there. About a dozen eggs. We got the uh, cream and the eggs beat. Now we're gonna try, try my hand on this. I by no me, I've probably made a handful of omelets in my life. So we've got this pretty hot. We're gonna spread, we're only gonna do about half of that. Spread it around so it'll be an even burn, or an even layout. It's a little hard because my stove's a little bit crooked. Be happy to get a new one today, actually, because the oven went out. And get it crisped up on the sides. Okay, it's cooked up on the sides. Covered it and reduced heat to low. While that's cooking, I'm stirring in my, I got peppers, and then we got onions and garlic from the farm. Let's check on this. Doing good, doing good. Almost, almost cooked up here. Okay, this has been cooking on low at about three, and it just cooked nice and slow with the lid on it. It looks done. I think I'm gonna spread these vegetables out in three ways. I think there'll be three omelets. Let's fold this up over that. I should be more careful. Woo, woo, yummy. Look at that. Not bad for like my fifth omelet ever. And then I'm gonna sprinkle some cheese on top. I guess I could have put it inside, but didn't think of it till I already closed it. Okay, I got the table set, everybody's here. Mom, you gonna take a bite? Yeah. Do you like omelets? I think so. Okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> you can tell we don't have too many omelets around here. They go a little further, we're putting a cream in them. Mm -hmm. They're good. Like, this is a lot, this is a lot of eggs, seems like. But it went further with cream. And Mr. Brown's liking his eggs. He now, the it. true test is the Chiddlers. How is it? Good. Okay, when they say good, that's about as good as it gets. Are you gonna touch it, buddy? Is it good? Okay, there we go. Somebody said, what do you do? Go make them something else? Actually, no. Just because they don't like it doesn't mean they don't eat it. That's what's served, so they will eat it. It's just not thrilling to them like that bunch of grapes right there. I like it. Okay, you like it, that's good. I love you. I love you too. So excited, Lowe's is here, that means our oven is here. Gonna flag them down. Uh, we've been out of oven since Saturday, so what's today? Today is Thursday. So we haven't been able to cook a lot of the things we've been wanting to cook. So we're pretty excited about this. You come out to see this? You like the big trucks in action? Wait till you see they get that, uh, how they get that down. Out with the old oven. Hey, we have some omelet left over. You guys want some? I'm okay. He was say saying how good it smells in here. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna give you the box. Yay. What are you gonna do with that box? Build a clubhouse. A helicopter. A bus. Whoa. That's a good one. Woo. They'll be occupied for hours now. Open the door for him, buddy. Yeah, we're hoping we got the right one here. Yes, that's the right one. It's on, it's working. You excited? I'm so excited. I haven't had a new oven in uh, 15 years. Well, yeah, that was I mean, the oven when we, we moved had when in, we moved in. That was the oven that was here. I'm excited about my new range. It came today, Saturday, when we were making dinner. I noticed that it wasn't heating. We've had issues in the past, and when we had a repairman come out for another appliance, I kind of asked him what it would cost to repair this, and he kind of looked it over. And um, the price he gave me for fixing our original oven was like more expensive than actually just buying a new one so when it went out completely when our oven completely stopped working we were we knew it was time then to get a new oven do you remember those folks those legit folks that came out several weeks ago to film a micro documentary on our story 
It's here. It's here. They released out today and it's absolutely beautiful. I'm getting chill bumps just telling you guys about it. You got to see this video. They nailed our story. Now we're revealing some things that you don't know that we haven't talked about yet. This is our story. It goes back. It goes back further than when you knew me from from when you knew me from Permaculture Chickens. This is like a big like eggs and some green. So we've seen this movie. We saw the rough draft and then now we're seeing it publicly for everybody else to see and uh how many times have we teared up, Beauty? I still, <laughs> I still am tearing up when I watch yeah. it. We come from a hard place to get to the successful spot that we're in now, and it wasn't that long ago. It was just, this has just happened. This is, we've crossed over from the struggle into finally grab it, grasping onto some success, and we're very excited about it. And this story expressed that and showed our true heart in it and revealed where we're coming from. And for, so, so, so for those of you who are interested, and more of our story, you gotta check this video out. It's put together well, it's entertaining, it's just top notch. Check it out, I'll leave the link in the description. Oh, wow. Just got done with a great afternoon of work. Got a lot done on the course that's coming out in August. Everybody, I wanna just say, it's not always glamorous on the homestead, right mom? Yep. This is the third time I think we've had this meal. Yeah. Right? But that's pretty cool, cause a lot of it's from the land. And it lasts us a long time. And we just reheat it, it's real quick. It's like farm fast That's food, right? That's what I love. Yeah, just pop it in the convection Not oven. Not having to think about making another meal. And it's just one bowl. Yeah, I like that too. Not much cleanup. Oh look. Is it hot? Yeah. It is? Harvest time, guys. Oh, there's your bucket. You gonna help Mr. Brown? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's way too huge. Bra get, grab it. We'll feed it to the chickens. Check Listen. out this huge zucchini. He's hidden in there. Oh, he's got one. Mama, I now get him trying to eat it. Oh, it's okay. It won't hurt him. <laughs> you could have took a bite out of it. <laughs> he didn't eat it. How's that? How's that raw zucchini, Mr. Brown? Nope. He took two bites out of it. Okay, you want to feed that to the chickens? Uh, chicken. Yeah. Can you say chickens? What is it? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna pick you up and you give that to the chickens. Go ahead. Good shot. Nice. Four cucumbers just right there. Okay, we have a, one of these volunteers plants didn't turn out as we desired. We don't know what kind of hybrid mix that thing is, but it'd be good food for the chickens. What do you think, Mom? I think it's done. Can I please First pick it? First spaghetti squash of the season. Yeah. Can I, can I pick it? Yes, you can. Thank you. This is You're a picking fool. And he, Papa, can I have your knife, please? Sure. There it is. Awesome. First spaghetti squash. <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited. Okay, go put it. Where are you going? You found your strawberry? He's on a mission, folks. Good one, buddy. Put it in there. Put it in there with the rest. Good boy. You did it. Look at him with that horny shoe. You wore that shoe out, buddy? Look, he put himself inside the bucket. <laughs> you get the best seat in the house. Oh, but Mama's happy about that one. Are you happy about that one? Catch that chicken, Mr. Brown. Catch that chicken. Look, guys. The fence is, is connected, but it must, must not be plugged in, because when this thing gets unhot, they jump. Get him, Mr. Brown. Get him back in there, buddy. Look, Mr. Brown. <laughs> Putting the chicken back. Check the crop garden, Mr. Brown. Almost afraid to go in here how much fruit could be in this garden. <laughs> well, that's not too bad, right? No, it's not. 
huge. Got some decoratives here. This was from a uh, volunteer squash, actually. Why not give the uh, soldier fly bin another shot? They love squashes. Here they come with the harvest, huge harvest. We've had this cricket in our house making noise for the last two nights, and we finally pinpointed where he's at, and we're going to catch him. Or Justin is, not me. Look, you found him. I'm so glad you found him. I thought he was in the walls. You can see his head poking out right there, okay? I don't want to kill him, but I do want to get him out of here. It's driving me crazy at night here. Did you catch him? No. Dang it. He went down in the crack. Oh, no. Got a butter knife, pry him out. <laughs> So Justin tried to grab him, but unfortunately there's like a gap down there since it's like rough sawn wood, you know, who knows what's going on. So Justin is prying the board off. We are desperate. Yes. This yes. thing was so loud last night. It actually woke me up this morning and I was like, is that inside our house? And I was like, surely not. Where is he? There's another. There's another gap there underneath. Got it on. So there's another gap underneath. See? Half an inch. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, he's right there at the edge. I'm gonna scoop him out so he doesn't go further back in. Okay? Becky's gonna. I don't want him to fall on me. He's. <laughs> oh, shoot. Where did he go? Back further in. Dang it. There's a crack underneath it. Did he, he go down the other way? I just know this thing's gonna land on me. And you guys are gonna hear me screaming like in the beetle episode. We're taking all of the boards down. <laughs> okay, just leave it there. Okay, there he is. All right, so what are you gonna do? Push him out the other way? Yeah. Oh wait, are you pushing him this way? No. Okay. I'm just gonna scoot him out. He, oh, okay. Oh, did he go? He He's on the ground. There he is. There he is. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, okay, got him. Got him. Oh, he jumped up. <laughs> get the jar. Get the jar. Yes. All right. Hey. Phew. We can sleep in peace tonight. Loudest cricket ever. We're going to set you free, buddy, so you can go cricket with all your friends. <laughs> now to repair the damages. Tomorrow. I don't want to hammer and wake up. Oh, yeah. that's true. We'll have to do it tomorrow. There, join your buddies. Here's your buddies. Way. Do you hear that? All right, he's gone. Yes. Now, don't get us wrong. We love that sound outside, <laughs> not in our bedroom or hallway. Mm -hmm.